Some news from the state of war. Tamil Nadu is all gearing up to witness a gala political show. State bigwigs Arapadi Palni Swami and MK Stalin have filed their nomination papers ahead of polling for 234 assembly seats on the 6th of April. In fact, State Chief Minister Edapadi Palni Swami filed his nomination papers from Edapadi seat in Salem district. His victory this time, if at all, would mark him a hat trick win. In fact, EPS is contesting against DMK's Sampath Kumar, another big wig in Tamil Nadu politics in DMK Chief MK Stalin. Um, here he has filed his nomination from Kolathur constituency in Chennai for the third consecutive term. He also visited Karunanidhi's memorial to seek his blessings from filing his before filing his nomination there. Stalin also held a roadshow in Kolathur earlier in the day. He also met with his ally, VCK chief and other leaders at his residence. Meanwhile, MNM chief Kamal Hassan will file his nomination from Coimbatore South shortly. The actor turned Neta will contest BJP women's cell chief Vanati Srinivasan on that seat. Pramod Madhav joining us live for more details on that. Pramod, here is all the big top guns, EPS, Kamala Hassan and MK Stalin, all filing in their nominations today while they set the stage for a mega showdown ahead of assembly polls in Tamil Nadu. What do you catch, what kind of pulse do you catch from on ground? Absolutely, like uh, the, for the state of Tamil Nadu, both the chief minister candidates have gone ahead and filed the like uh, rep I mean, nominations. Uh, just like you mentioned in Edapadi, it was the chief minister Edapadi K. Parniswamy, third time over there, and the candidate from DMK is Sampath Kumar, a 37 year old DMK functionary. Similarly, we saw Kolathur. In Kolathur, it was uh, MK Stalin, and ADMK has fielded Adi Rajan, a second tier leader as well. In fact, we are waiting in one such location over here. This is also a nomination center. All preparations have been done very carefully. No person without any card is allowed inside this location and this election is going to be a very interesting one because we do not have the tall leaders no Karnanadi no Jalita this time and they have to the other the next level of leaders have to prove themselves and that's the reason this election is very important for the state of Tamil Nadu now DMK and ADMK have released their manifestos we saw quite a lot of interesting aspects and most of them are women centric imagine ADMK yesterday said that they are going to actually give free washing machines and solar stove but the contentious part here is that though DMK directly said that they will oppose uh, CAA AI DMK actually was well like at that point voted for in favor of CAA but yesterday with just one line they have mentioned that they will go ahead and push well, center it, 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 to which drop indeed CAA. is very very interesting considering the AI DMK and the BJP are now allies for the AI DMK to promise that they will oppose CAA if they come to power is really a big development here in Tamil Nadu politics uh, here we're looking at like Pramod mentioned the stage set, uh, the heat is rising in Tamil Nadu ahead of polls with AIDMK, DMK promising a bunch of freebies which they've now promised to dole out if they come to power. Thank you Pramod for joining us.